actually a thing. <laughs> okay, this is. Ah. My glasses. It's too warm. Okay, right. This video today, I'm going to show you 20 gift ideas, at least 20, possibly slightly more gift ideas for the runners in your life this Christmas. 10 minutes, let's go. Right, first of all, it's Christmas and that means socks, but not just any old socks, because I highly recommend these toe socks. <gasps> if you've never tried them, toe socks are an absolute revelation. They're so, so thin. Each individual pinky is wrapped. Great for stopping blisters, make your feet feel much more free. A lot of really natural, link below, link, links below for everything. If you want something a little bit more padded, that doesn't give you blisters, I highly recommend these. I should have washed these. These are thousand mile socks. I've been using thousand mile socks for the last, blah, you, several years, I've used them ever since my very first marathon. Never gotten a pair of blisters, a pair of blisters, blisters in, a thousand mile socks, toe socks, brilliant. Next thing, it's getting cold, so gloves, got several types of gloves here, really, really light gloves. And these ones have little like touch controls. Yeah, just, just light gloves for running. They make such a big difference, they cut out wind. And one particular type I discovered this year, last year, where these, this is a product from Decathlon. These are double layer glove and mitts, which means that normally you've got the mitt on, you've got the full dexterity, but the wind hits, wind chill, whip that over the top, and suddenly that's a lot warmer. You'd be surprised just how much cutting out the wind can really warm you up. Right, next thing, I'm too warm, I'm taking this off. Ugh, revealing my Morn Skyline t-shirt, which is about three sizes too large. This race got canceled this year, but virtually and got this. So next year, maybe races will be back on. Race numbers, yeah, remember those. Remember safety pins? Well, these are magnetic race number attachments, which instead of using nasty safety pins, which risk giving you uh, an unwanted nipple piercing, uh, these are probably slightly better for the environment as well because you don't have waste of um, safety pins lying all over the place. Right, you get the idea. Two bits, magnetic, number goes on, there you go, and, oh, and you can proudly display your number two. Ah, and another thing is going to be different in 2021 at races. They're probably not going to allow you to like share cups and drinks and things. So maybe it's time to get yourself a little collapsible cup. Where'd I get that? Decathlon. Um, next up, it's dark at night. Head torches. Runners love head torches. Three, three options here. If you're out running on roads, I would either recommend this. this is the BioLite 200. I love BioLite head torches because they are incredibly comfortable. Just this really like nice like, headband that fits on really, really well. There, uh, there's no bounce. It tilts down. It's nice and bright. Okay, yes, they have a stro <laughs> strobe mode. There we go. Normal mode. That's a 200 lumen head torch. I find this is plenty for out about country roads. Um, this is their um, head... Head Torch 300. This one, there are 350, 350 lumens. Brighter. I still prefer the smaller one. Now, if you're wanting to go out into the mountains or you need a lot of battery power for a long period of time, this is the Head Torch 750, which this will go all night. All night. And much, much brighter. Goes up to 750 lumens. Massive battery pack on it. Let's remain on the theme of keeping visible with a few more other visibility things. Little armbands here, flashing armbands. Get one of these for your loved one. If you don't buy your loved one uh, a visibility tool this winter, do you even really care? All that is a little flashing armband. I got this free at an event, but I'll try and find one that you can actually buy. Um, and then, if you really want to be Captain Safety, this, which uh, my wife Louise refers to as the safety harness, which basically you can turn any outfit into an outfit of safety. It's very trendy. Clips on. Pretty cheap. A big range of prices here. These these things all range from like a few pounds up to um, actually one of them's free. One of these is free. The very last one is free. Range from a few pounds up to very expensive. Right, moving on. Running belts then. Forget armbands. Armbands complete waste of time. It's all about the belt. A couple of different types here. If you can, I prefer the ones with a buckle because it's easier to adjust the size around your around your waist. I'll just do my head here. Clip clip. Pocket on the front. You can fit your phone in there. You can fit some gels. Um, here's another type. This one's two separate sections. It's stretch. This one's actually waterproof. Um, it gets icy and snowy in the winter, so you can't always go out and run in your normal shoes. So, grips. These are yeah, track grips. 
And these are probably suitable for, I think, like packed snow or stuff that's not like crazy, crazy slippy. At least stretch over your shoe. I put this grippy surface on the bottom. I have another type here if you're on like really, really slippy conditions or you want something that's got more purchase, you can get these ones with like massive ice spikes. Ugh. But they get good they get good reviews too. In the event you do slip and fall on your head, especially if you're out on the trail, I recommend some kind of first aid kit. Now you can get a first aid kit like this, which is still pretty small, would fit in a trail backpack, which I'll show you in a second. Has all the essentials in it, but it's quite big. So what I like to do is buy these wee tiny ones. They're like a few pounds. And then I'll augment them, I'll open them up and I'll add extra things in here. So I've got like ibuprofen, I've got antihistamines, I've got allergies. Um, I've got paracetamol and I've, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll augment them, but really it's just to get that little small package useful. Stocking filler. Let's look at running packs now. And there's two I would recommend. These are more aimed at trail runners, but if you're a beginner, I would recommend, now there's a newer version of this. This is the Kalingi, Kalingi, I can't pronounce it. It's the Cathlon product. 10 liter de, 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 de Cathlon running pack. This is the very first one I used um, or ever got. You'll see this in a lot of my a lot of my running videos. Um, it fits two water bottles in the front or two cameras. I can get a GoPro or 360 camera, a water bottle, a snack bar, um, and I'm drawing quite a few bits and pieces into this. Clips on like that. You put your drink in here, water bottles on the front, and there's space in the back. You can get quite a lot in there as well. You can get the coat, a coat and things. If you need more space, if you're like me, if you're kind of drawn, this this is my premium, premium running pack. This is a Salmon Advanced Skin 15, 15, no 12. I love this thing. I can carry everything I need for a day in the mountains in this, uh, including up to three liters of water if I really want it. There's space for a hydration pack in the bag. It takes two balls on the front. I can get a full, I can get a large drone in the bag of this as well, as well as coat, hack, jacket, gloves, food. Um, on the topic of water bottles, if you know someone who likes to go running on trails, maybe consider getting them one of these. This is a Salomon water filler specifically designed for runners. This, as you can see, just screws into the top of the soft flask. Um, fill it with water from generally any source, so you should try and make sure it's slightly clean and filters it and you won't get severe diarrhea while you're running. Which, I can tell you, is not a good experience. Water bottles, showed you a couple there. Here's another couple of options of water bottle. If you don't like those ones with the short necks, you can get this like straw attachment. This is a brand, this is MX. Interesting company, startup company doing race nutrition, nutrition maybe check them out. Um, but this, this brings the nozzle up closer to your mouth. So while you're running, you don't have to like look down the same way. I quite like this. Um, and then this is a little tiny, 150 mils. Sometimes in the summer's day, if I'm doing like 5K, I'll just fill one of these up just so I have something to even just rinse my mouth out with or even squirt water over my head. Most useful piece of running clothing you can buy, a buff. You can wrap around your waist. Waist, wrist, it's a sweatband. Um, it keeps your neck warm. You can put it up over your head and use it as a ballet clava. Incredibly useful. I got one of these for the first time in a race for free. Thought it was a bit stupid, but in the winter, I never go out running without one of these. And what I'll sometimes do is, I'll put it on like this, and if you combine it with a running hat, like that, you would not believe how much warmer you would be running when you've got, you know, this kind of configuration. It's, it's unbelievable how much extra heat this keeps this in. Just the combination of a running hat and a buff. Uh, expensive one now, if you like listening or your friend likes listening, your loved one likes listening to banging tunes out on the road and you don't want them to get squished by traffic, get them some bone conducting headphones. Get your headphones out of your ears, clear your ears. These are the Aftershock Aeropex, these are like premium ones, these are really good, there's cheaper ones as well. These are amazing, I love these. Missed the soft pile. Just a quick one here, this is a pair of... Uh, is it waterproof running trousers? Another another decathlon product. Salomon make these as well, but these decathlon ones are significantly cheaper and I find they've worked really, really well. If you get into mountain running trail races, they're essential. You will not be allowed to run if you don't have something like that. And um, these have got, the, these are nice and zipped, which is great. And even if you want to use these for hiking, these would be a great alternative for like a really heavy uh, pair of hiking over trousers. Nearly done. Um, if you're out in the mountains, safety matters a lot, and I don't go 
anywhere in the mountains on my own without one of these. This is an emergency bivy. I'm not going to open it up because it makes a huge mess, but this opens up to a massive um, foil lined sleeping bag that in a survival situation you crawl into it and this, this tiny thing, this could be the difference between life and death. So, yeah, good product to buy somebody. And lastly, this is my absolute favorite waterproof running jacket. This is a Salomon Bonatti running jacket. But this one I've just found, it's nice and comfy and it's got a really clever hood with a peak. See here? There's like a peak built in and there's absolutely no need to tighten it. So you're not like pulling it toggle, it's just the way it's designed. It's elasticated, so it stays on, stays up, keeps you dry. This got me through eight hours of the morn two day, uh, two day marathon. And I live to tell the tale, so. Finally, last but not least, I've gone slightly over time. This is a gift that's free. This is sort of the craft item. You can make this yourself. This is one of the most important gifts you can give to a trail runner. It's a little bundle of, uh, well, this is the gift that gives the most when the person that you give it to gives a lot. This is a tube of emergency toilet roll. <laughs> and the way you make this is quite simple. What you have to do is you uh, go into your bathroom and grab yourself a hearty piece length of uh, TP. Roll it tightly up like that. Take yourself a Ziploc sandwich bag. Put the TP into the bottom. Roll it up nice and tightly. Get all the air out or as much as you can. Take that up and then take the elastic band and just roll that around. Almost more than anything else in that pile, this little bundle has saved me from having a bad day. Happy Christmas. No.